we do want to get you the latest on the search for little Kyron Horman. Three weeks ago, the seven-year-old vanished from his elementary school in Portland, Oregon. We will speak with his parents in just a moment. After an update first on the investigation, CBS News national correspondent Jeff Glor joins us this morning with that. Hey, Jeff. Erica, good morning to you. Investigators are insisting this will not become a cold case. Experts from 22 agencies, including the FBI, have tracked down thousands of tips in their search. And now the family is releasing three new videos of Chiron, images they hope will prompt someone somewhere to contact police. These new videos show second grader Kyron Horman performing in a school play yeah. and reading his classmates a report on bridges. His mannerisms and voice revealed in simple moments from his life at Skyline Elementary. He disappeared from the school on June 4th. His stepmother, Terry Horman, says she left him in the morning and reported him missing when he never returned on the bus. His parents, divorced and both remarried, have appeared united in their grief. Kyron, we miss you, we love you, and we need you home right now. Although they have not named her a suspect, investigators have given Terry Horman a second polygraph, and they've distributed flyers featuring pictures of her and her Ford truck. They're also asking questions. What time was she at the school? Where was she with the boy? They're really trying to track down every detail regarding her story. This has been described as the largest search in Oregon's history. And while authorities have now scaled back on searches around the school, a major crimes team is still pouring over tips from across the country. Kyron's family has also released 200 new photos. Despite the fact that his face seems to be everywhere, investigators have still not gotten the leads they need. Erica? CBS's Jeff Glor. Jeff, thanks. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.